This is Paranormal Short Session 5 by Keith Evans. I keep turning the uh, <laughs> camera off by accident. It's, that's not paranormal. Uh, I'm at the grave of Dr. John Gorey. Hello. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of March, 2022. Today I like to try something uh, different. I'm going to lay... A ballpoint pen you see it down and I'm gonna request that the ghosts and spirits try to move the ballpoint pen in any direction they would like I would suggest spinning it from one end seems like that would take a lot less energy now, it may take more than one ghost or spirit so I invite any ghost or spirits in the area to attempt to uh, move the pen I'm going to cam back because my knees hurt when I bend over for prolonged periods of time. This has been something that I, I haven't tried since I was a kid. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, I got little or no movement out of the pen. So, but that's up to the ghost of spirits and whether they want to utilize their energy in this way. So... There's the pen, so I've been inviting all the ghost of spirits to take either the eraser in or the ballpoint pen in and push against it to attempt to move the pen. Kind of like swivel, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Give it a try. I think when I was a kid I mainly had pencils. Maybe once I tried it with a crayon. And I can't say that I got any appreciable type movement. Now, it is windy today. Let me cam up and, and show you the trees. There is some movement in the trees. I'll do a 360 spin. So you can see that there is some movement in the trees. You can see some movement here. Yeah, I'm not looking at the pen, so I don't think there was any movement in it, but at least show you that the wind is blowing, but I don't think the wind is blowing enough to actually cause the pen to move at all. I might be wrong, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. So we're going to give it at least five minutes, and if it doesn't move then uh, we'll end this paranormal session for today but every once in a while I like to try something that is uh, fairly uh, non high tech and uh, if a ghost of spirit is going to move something they'll swivel a pen and you know, maybe 45 degrees uh, maybe less than 45 degrees so Dr. John Gorey, if you're here, maybe you could get your uh, Ghost of Spirit friends together and uh, form a team and start pushing at one end of the pen. I just saw some some of the uh, small stuff blowing around, but I think that is the wind. I don't think that's paranormal. But I don't think it's windy enough today to cause the uh, pen to move on its own. I think that would have to be some type of unexplained force to do that. And as you can see, there's no strings, nothing attached. So if it does move, it's not me causing it to happen. I'll give it about two more minutes. If we don't see anything, then I'll end this paranormal session for today. You know, and I thank Dr. John Gorey and his paranormal ghost friends and uh, spirits for at least giving it a thought as to how to move the pen. I'm not sure if every ghost or spirit can actually move things. I think each ghost or spirit has their own independent personality and they communicate with people on a level that they see best fit to do. Like uh, Annie from the Hayes House, you know, my book Ghost or People 2, the Hayes House Ghost or People 2, she likes to cause uh, 
pictures and photos and videos to be blurry. That's her calling card. I don't know if that means she's her energy is in front of the camera and that's the way it shows up. And uh, some ghost spirits like to uh, knock or cause scratching sounds. And I have my theories on that that I'll go into later. But every ghost has some way of communicating with the living that uh, is uh, definitely their own way of communicating with their personality and what they're good at. So, that's me moving around because if I bend over too long, my knees start to hurt. So, I haven't seen any movement in the pen. Just something that I would like to try. And I invite uh, anyone who's watching this or any uh, para paranormal investigator or researcher to give it a try, tape it, and see what happens. So, well, nothing happened. So this is Keith Evans. I'm ending the paranormal short session uh, five here at Dr. John Gorey's grave. And um, I wish everyone to have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.